All right, guys, here is the first heater I have for this season. It is a crane mini convection heater. It's in this nice red color that I really like. Um, and this season, I got a convection heater because they are very, very quiet. They're completely silent, um, aside from the thermostat. Um, and the, the thermal clicking from the thermal fuse and the switch. But aside from that, they're absolutely silent, which I really like. Um, and they don't dry out the air, which is good for people with asthma. Um, so I'll cut open this box. I've already opened it just to make sure everything was okay. And I'm going to cut open this box and I'll be right back when all the styrofoam and stuff is put away. So give me one minute. Alright, so here's the heater itself. All in the package. First we'll start up top. There's an indicator light right here when the unit is plugged in um, or is getting power. On the top here we have a grill for the outlet and down inside there you can see the steel heating element in there. Or it might be aluminum, I'm not sure. On the side you've got a power switch that has a waterproof cover on and off. These little indentations so it can grip the switch and it's waterproof cover so you can use it in wet environments like a bathroom. Crane logo. A rotary dial thermostat. Congratulations, Alexander Mark III, you made it in the video. <laughs> but around back here, we have the cord strain relief where the cord comes out. Four places for wall mounting brackets, which did come in the box. This is wall mountable if you remove the feet. And right here we have an auxiliary air intake. side here you can see the specs. This is not a 1500 watt heater, it's only 400 watts, so it saves energy. And on the bottom here, you can see the element inside and the two feet, which are held on by screws. Alright, and this also has a heavy duty three prong ground fault circuit interrupter plug. So let's hit reset. And we now have power. Anytime you unplug this heater, it clicks and it resets, so you have to manually reset it every time you use this or plug it in or unplug it. Alright, we now have power. So to turn this unit on, bump off the thermostat, and turn it on. It's already getting pretty warm. You can feel the heat rising already. 
when this heater gets up to temperature, if you put your hand underneath it, you can, oh yeah, you can feel it now. Um, you can feel the cold air rushing in to replace the warm air being displaced by the heater. It's pretty cool. So it shows you that it's actually working. Um, I'm a big fan of convection heat because it's quiet, it makes no noise, and has very few moving parts. And it does a pretty good job. So it's great for bedrooms or anything else. In your quiet space, office maybe. You cut off the thermostat. The light still remains on, but it cuts off the heating element. Back on. Now how you use this thermostat is say the room has warmed up to the temperature you want. Just turn it back. So you hear a click, and that is your thermostat setting. So the heater will now keep the temperature where it is. So wherever you're comfortable, the heater will keep it that way. Let's power this off. And before we go, We'll give a demonstration of the GFCI. Hit test. Light goes out. See the heater doesn't work. Push reset. We have power. And you can now turn it on again. All right. Well, there you have it. There is the Crane 400 watt mini convection heater. As always, if you liked that video, smash that like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. And if you loved it, subscribe for more awesome content like this. More videos to come soon. Thanks for watching.